everyone, this is my first personal vlog. My name is Lauren and this is my workshop. Yay! I just thought I'd give you a little video tour about what I do. I run an embroidery business called Pink Bird Originals and I just thought I'd give you a little, little look around just to see all of the cool things, all of my equipment and the things I bought for my business over the years and just to show you what a day in the life of running an embroidery business is like. So the first step in my evening routine is I go to my laptop and I make a list of all the orders I need to make the next day. And then I go to my notebook which has pretty, pretty pink flamingos on there and I make a list of all of the orders in list of uh, dispatch. So the items that need to be dispatched first go at the top of the list and then I work my way down. And then once I know what order I'm going to be making the patches in, I go over to my embroidery machines and I remove all of the previous threads and replace them with the new threads that I'm going to be using tomorrow. That way, as soon as I get up in the morning, the machine is ready to run. Everything's a little bit messy right now, but I'm hoping you can all look past that. I have three embroidery machines at the minute. The first industrial embroidery machine I bought and her name is Matilda. This embroidery machine is called Sir Stitch a Lot. This embroidery machine is my latest embroidery machine and she is called Agatha. Today Agatha has been working on some dinosaur patches and Sir Stitch a Lot has been working on some Steve Harringtons. At the end of the day or when I know I'm not going to be embroidering anymore I usually take off the embroidery hoop and I give my machines a good clean to keep them running properly. So we take off i open up the cap, we take out the bobbin and then using my highly technical piece of equipment, paintbrush, I give it a little dust inside and then once she's lovely and clean I give it a little spray too with some lubricant. Then I put the bobbin back in with a little press and she is ready to roll straight away then in the following morning. Uh, the next thing is obviously my lovely wall of thread. I have bought every colour in the Madeira Classic Cottons colour chart. All um, cotton, they're not polyester, they're not poly neon, so that's good. And all of the little, the little uh, plastic reels they come on can be recycled with the curbside recycling, so that's pretty cool. Got my stock here then everywhere, so in this box we got like some beanies which are really lovely colours. These are very popular at the minute. It's like a, a lovely mint colour. Oh and look there's a little frog. He was a dud unfortunately. I put the wrong blue under stitch on him and I'm trying to slowly unpick that. I'll probably keep this one for myself because it's really cute. And in this box we have den men's denim jackets. This is the men's denim jacket box. And here we got our, there are really big rolls of uh, thread, the most popular threads. So like black and red and navy, they're all really popular colours. Some scrap fabric in that corner, which I don't use that much anymore because I don't applique much stuff. This is my favourite thing. This is my hoop master, which is used for hooping onto sweaters, which you've probably seen me do loads on my TikTok. And what you do, you just put your... You put your hoop in there and your stabilizer on and then you just pull the sweater over and bam it's perfect every time hooray so all little projects dotted everywhere like this beanie hat i made yesterday with a, a pink bird originals design on there i'm not very happy with the flowers but it's a we'll call it a work in progress the next cool piece of kit we have is our sawgrass printer for our sublimation and it prints A3, and that's awesome. This isn't mine, this is Jordan's mug press, where he heat presses all the mugs and they come out looking like this. This is my design. It's a bear hug in a mug. I think that's really cute. Haven't sold any, but hey ho, you know, you win some, you lose some. Then he hangs up all the warm mugs there. Uh, these are the, the evil poly neon threads. We don't use these anymore, but we keep them out because they look pretty, but these are plastic cottons. Um, and speaking of evil cottons, uh, evil cottons that we allow are metallic threads. You got some lovely shiny pink, like baby pink, is that going to focus? Ah, uh, you get the idea. It's pretty anyway. And this one, this one glows in the dark. That's really cool. Other notable mentions include this fire hydrant. 
just in case. This guillotine, which doesn't work. And this taper thing, which we bought recently for taping cardboard boxes, and it has literally revolutionized our lives. It is the best thing we've ever bought. Aside from this stamp, which has our return address on it. And this is also, this is also revolutionary and incredible. And it also has a little needle nerd on there. I definitely recommend if you're running a business to get your own stamp. It is brilliant. So yeah, that kind of concludes this winding down business video. This is my whole life in my bedroom. I do this all day, every day. It's been very busy with it being Christmas time and everything, but hopefully in the new year, I'll have time to focus on some little tutorial videos on uh, how to start up, how to run, and how to create embroidery projects. At least that's my 2021 New Year's resolution. We'll see if that happens. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully any future videos will be more use useful to you than five minutes of me rambling. Bye bye.